direction. Let's move on. Next up, and this is really positive news, Bitcoin just had its second highest ever monthly close. So what's going on? Well, pretty simply, according to Crypto Compare, the day after the 12th anniversary of its white paper, which was yesterday, Bitcoin managed to close the month of October at 13.8, which was its second highest monthly in history. Let me say that again. As of October, the end of October, it closed out at 13,801, which was its second highest month in history. So where do you think this is going? I mean, we have seen nothing but positive news about institutions getting in, about Paul Tudor Jones, TD Ameritrade, Fidelity Digital Assets, people just coming out of the Warwick, MicroStrategy, Michael Saylor, Square, Grayscale, and they're all just buying it up in the background. And I mean, not just from me, Guy from Coin Bureau did a great video about talking about all these different uh, institutions really buying up. Also, Stoshi Stacker did the same thing. But, you know, they have their own little ways. But I thought it was great how it's all kind of coming together. In 2017, it was just vapor. It was nothing. It was white papers and hopes and dreams. But here we are, and we can really point to something and go, well, these guys believe it is a store of value. They are buying it for his clients. They're gobbling things up. There has to be a reason. And here we are. So second highest monthly close in history. And here's the crazy thing. It wasn't off by much because Bitcoin recorded its highest ever monthly close of 13850 on 31 December 2017, the same month uh, that it went to almost 20 grand. So 13850 to 13801. Let me do some quick math here. 49 bucks. 49 bucks. Not too bad for what's about to happen. So let me know what you think in the comment section. I personally believe 2021 is our year. Everything is going in the right direction. Um, I hate to say this, but really COVID-19 was the catalyst for Bitcoin, for adoption, for store of value, for people to kind of get into it, especially institutions. And look, with all the volatility that's about to come up with this presidential election, and I, this is how I see it. I see a dogfight and insecurity about what is about to happen there's going to be a lot of talk about fraud there's going to be a lot of talk about we can't call this presidential election on the night maybe not even 24 hours maybe not even a month afterwards you, don't, you never know but at least a couple of days afterwards we're not going to have a, a clear winner and you know who likes volatility traders but you know who also is a big proponent of, of uncertainty it's just investors they need something that they can put their money into that is going to be positive. And if you take a look around, it's not stocks, it's not bonds, cash is on fire. I mean, you could still do it in a cash. I mean, even a couple of economists have said get into cash. A lot of people are going, you know what I think? I'm going to take a look at what MicroStrategy did because they just made about 100 million over a couple months just by putting in a Bitcoin. I think that's where we're going. Anyhow, I could be wrong. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Let's move on.